short video on how to interface uh, Lee Hart's uh, membership card microcomputer uh, with the TI-99 for a computer. Uh, the membership card uh, microcomputer is essentially a uh, replica of the Cosmac ELF computer um, which was introduced in uh, August 1976 in uh, popular electronics and uh, cost as little as um, $80 uh, to build. This is a copy of the original um, issue of popular electronics which featured um, the uh, Cosmic ELF. The original ELF uh, was based on the RCA 1802 uh, microprocessor chip and uh, had 256 bytes of RAM um, and uh, input output was via toggle switches and either LEDs or a hexadecimal uh, display. What Lee Hart has done um, is uh, replicate the original ELF but uh, shrink it into a uh, uh, format that fit easily into a uh, Altoid 10 um, which was <laughs> pretty interesting a pretty interesting choice of packaging um, the replica here um, is revision B uh, I, I believe we're up to revision H currently um, it essentially still functions the same as the uh, newer revisions on most parts. Um, we have the uh, toggle switches here, um, the uh, input switch here for uh, inputting the data from the toggle switches and um, various uh, switches to run and uh, read and write the memory etc. Um, this is a, uh, a parallel port um, connector which uh, has uh, connections to the data lines, the input switch and various other uh, signals. Uh, and this is the port we're going to be using to connect to the TI-99 for a computer. Um, this replica comes in two parts. The bottom part here is actually uh, the main computer um, and the top board which um, hooks up via the small X connector here in white um, is just for the input and output functions. Once the computer has been programmed this top portion can actually be taken off and uh, the bottom board um, will continue to function uh, normally. So what I'm trying to do is connect this uh, TI-99 for a computer which was my original computer back in 1981 um, to the uh, membership card computer and uh, transfer uh, programs um, from the TI into the memory of the membership card. Uh, the main advantage of doing this of course is that um, the membership card um, requires toggle, toggle switches to input data and uh, you know after a few uh, dozen uh, uh, commands being input that way your fingers start getting sore plus it is a uh, an error prone process and furthermore um, there is uh, uh, no easy facility to edit programs entered um, without a specifically written monitor and even then um, it's a laborious uh, process therefore um, Creating programs on the uh, on another computer and using a um, an editor to edit programs and then transferring the resulting uh, program to the uh, membership card or the ELF uh, makes a lot of sense. So why the TI-99 for a computer in particular? Well, um, as I said, it was my first computer, and um, I'm pretty familiar with uh, programming it in assembly language as well as interfacing it particularly using the parallel port which we will be using uh, today. So here we have the um, 
membership card computer connected to the TI uh, via the TI's parallel port here. This cable here connects to the RS-232 uh, parallel port uh, card um, on the back. Um, the RS-232 card of the uh, TI um, has both serial and a parallel port combined. Um, and it lives in this expansion box here. Um, the data lines um, go through here. Um, this line here is uh, the uh, input switch, um, which uh, when made low is equivalent to pressing the input switch, the physical input switch on the membership card. And uh, this line here is actually ground. So what the TI does is very very simple. It just um, puts data on the data lines here um, and then makes the input line low um, which allows the membership card to accept to read basically the data lines and uh, input them in memory and uh, move on to the next uh, memory location automatically. So the TI essentially puts that on, toggles the uh, input line, and so on and so forth until the end of the program. Uh, at that point, the uh, memory of the membership card is now contains the program, and uh, we should be able to run it. Uh, of note is the fact that I had to slow down the transfer a little bit because the TI was overwhelming uh, the membership card processor um, by a factor of 2 to 3 approximately. So here we go. First I will um, show you briefly what the um, uh, the uh, actual transfer program looks like on the TI. Um, this is just a proof of concept for at this point, just testing and making sure the process actually works. Um, so the actual program for the uh, membership card is hard-coded in hex within the program. Um, so um, this will not obviously be an ideal situation um, and in the future uh, I plan on um, creating the ability of importing a text file um, from uh, disk um, and having it converted into hex um, and then transferred to the membership card. So here's the program, this is a portion of it, it's a really, relatively small program really, there's nothing too complicated here, but this portion here, um, this is the actual program and that program is, a, is a, something I wrote a few years ago um, recreating the uh, quote-unquote Cylon eyes on the uh, LED panel uh, of the uh, membership card. So with that said we're gonna go ahead and um, load the control program, the transfer program. So at this point, um, we have to uh, set up the uh, membership card to accept the transfer. So first off, all the uh, toggle switches should be in the up position to uh, put them to VCC or positive voltage. And then um, we have to toggle um, the uh, load switch to basically reset uh, the uh, program counter uh, to the first memory location. Um, and at this point, all we have to do is toggle the uh, memory protect switch up um, so that the computer now um, can accept and write uh, data into memory. So the membership card is all set to receive uh, data at this point. Um, all I have to do now is press a key on the Texas Instruments computer. And as you can see, 
it loads up the program and this is it it's done um, so now um, we toggle back the memory protect switch so as not to accidentally write anything uh, else um, we go ahead and disconnect the lines um, from the membership card and reset the uh, program counter and now all we have to do is toggle oops sorry uh, I forgot we have to put the right switch up um, reset um, and um, this uh, Cylon Eyes program um, is, has variable speeds uh, depending on the uh, uh, positions of the uh, toggle switches here so I set it up to a uh, fairly slow speed here and here we go and that's the program um, very simple uh, but it does, ju does demonstrate the transfer um, process from the TI to the uh, membership card I hope this was interesting thank you for watching